Welcome to the Engineering Talks podcast. A scandal related to the activities of the notorious Russian private military company Wagner broke out in Serbia in January. It was reported on the announcement about recruitment of volunteers to the private military company distributed through the Russian TV channel, website and local social networks. Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic called this a dishonest practice of recruitment Serbs as volunteers as it violates the law of the country. Rumors about the activities of the Wagner Group in Serbia coincided with the fateful negotiations on the settlement of relations with Kosovo. According to a number of sources, the West may refuse European integration to Serbia and stop its investments if the country does not agree to the Franco-German plan to resolve the conflict with Kosovo. It is clear that Serbian authorities are facing a difficult choice. Evidence of the tension in the elites is the statement of President Vucic that he does not even rule out his resignation. To clarify prospects of the activation of Wagner Group in Serbia and the development of the situation regarding negotiations between Belgrade and Pristina, I talked to Darko Bradovic, Program Manager of the Center for Strategic Analysis, Serbia. Mr. Bradovic, whether the broad public in Serbia is aware of Wagner's possible activities in the Western Balkans, what are your predictions regarding Serbia's official reaction? So far, there, there is about Wagner issue, there is no official statements about the presence and activities about recruiting for the terrorist activity in the Ukraine. As far as it is uh, known, some organizations from Serbia visited the Wagner uh, headquarters and also established contacts with the one organization which is dedicated in the informational war against the uh, Serbian civil population and they have established some kind of the partnership and also what is curiosity this organization which actually uh, started the whole suspicious suspicion about uh, Wagner presence uh, presence in Serbia are targeting the Russian activists, anti-war activists and anti-Putin activists in Serbia. They are publishing their uh, uh, data, their uh, pictures, uh, even the places where they are. And they, they, they are conducting some kind of the cyberbullying against the critics of the dictator Putin regime on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, we have the right-wing organizations which completely accepting the Wagner insignias. They are uh, drawing graffitis around the streets and they are wearing Wagner symbols on their jackets. But uh, on the other hand, there was not yet published or not yet documented that somebody conduct the recruiting process in Serbia because this is against the criminal law. No doubt, uh, we saw some uh, video materials, even uh, Russian television uh, uh, broadcast where they said that, there, that in Ukraine are the volunteers from Serbia. Uh, as far as uh, wider publicity didn't identify them, for sure it is a very big problem and there is no doubt that Serbia will process such activities because Serbia, in any case, processed 32 people which fought in Ukraine during the rebellion in the 2014 and 2015, and also processing the people who go to the Daesh. So, in this case, I expect that our, our state will organize the criminal charges against people which uh, go to Ukraine and those who organizing this kind of the activity here in Serbia. Uh, we have to know that all of, all of those activities are covert activities. So most in most cases, the public city will be informed when those activities are end. On the other hand, I think that it will be very useful if Ukrainian side has uh, intelligence data about concrete Serbian citizens to provide those data to our uh, security institutions. 
but also maybe it will not be a bad strategy to publish those persons already publicly to denounce who are the people who are in the terrorist organization because the problem of the Wagner is no matter the problem of the just uh, involvement in the armed conflict. The problem is that people who, who are connected with Wagner are the people who are connected with the terrorist and transnational criminal organization, which means that United States are very highly interested for those activities after United States designated Wagner as transnational criminal organization, it means that all individuals and entities which are connected with, with Wagner are actually under US criminal uh, charge, which means that the hunt for those uh, covert uh, Wagner operatives and their logistic personnel will be hunt like it was hunted uh, Pablo Escobar. So no uh, Wagner activities is no matter the of the certain country, it is the matter of the global coalition against terrorists. So in any case, I think that now the environment in Serbia is completely dedicated to rebrand Serbia international position, especially our situation on Kosovo. So I expecting that when the data are uh, released, when the times come that Serbian institutions will act against this because the Wagner is also the problem of the radicalization, those radicalization and most of people who identify themselves with insignia and graffiti are people who are radicalized and they are far right extremists which which are very aggressive, which are completely acting against the constitution, which present the trend threat for the national security and the, secu and the public security of, of the people. Uh, for They are threat to me, they are threat for the Russian refugees, they are threat for the Ukraine community, but they are also threat for the stability of the state because they can mobilize the huge amount of the, of the, of the mob who can uh, protest. We already saw that people who who glorifying uh, who glorifying Wagner are actually the same people who are organizing pro-Russian demonstrations. Mr. Brodovich, how do you assess the possibility that the Kremlin will try to influence radical and extremist groups in the region to escalate the conflict between Belgrade and Pristina? We have saw in Sweden that Kremlin organized the firing of the Quran. Uh, which means that they are very capable to to conduct the the false flag operations to f finance them and to uh, and, and and to put those operation in use of their foreign policy goals Kremlin foreign policy goals is to ruin sweden turkey relations to prevent joining the nato on the other hand the russia has the goal in Serbia to prevent Serbia to join European Union and also to prevent region to join NATO. In this moment, in the four countries of Western Balkan, Serbs are living and are dominant almost in the numbers, which means that Kremlin play on that hand to use the Serb, Serb manipulation of Serbs' emotion, history and so on to use Serbian factor as the leverage against the Euro-Atlantic integration. Of course, the not resolved status of Kosovo is one of the high uh, level, uh, well, precious gift for the Kremlin. As far as Kosovo is not settled, it means that Kremlin are in the same zone and that they have a very dominant influence to Serbia because in this moment Serbian uh, strategy about Kosovo is very uh, narrow uh, connected with the Kremlin's activities, but it does not mean that Serbia is the ally of Russia. It means that present pragmatism of, of, of uh, Kosovo strategy, but in this moment, as far as, uh, as Kosovo is not settled, the Russia has a very big uh, influence and very cheap investment on, uh, on the Western Balkan. In that hand, it means that Russia will do anything to prevent this deal. 
they will use info information operations, influence operations, even the mob on the streets, rioters, agents of interest in the different institutions, but also I will not be shocked if they organize some kind of the false flag multi-ethnical uh, conflict or incident or something very big, because if we speak now uh, for the Kremlin, the situation is all in in the Western Balkans. Serbia very clearly go to the European path. We have some uh, problems, we have some obstacles, but no matter of that, it is uh, very clear that uh, Serbia will accept the European and American proposition for the uh, for the uh, for the baseline for the future negotiations, which will be some kind of the ambient for the negotiation, not the final agreement. And that means that the Kremlin and his malign services will not be needed anymore for Serbia. And what is the Russian strategy? Russian strategy is to create situation that Serbia need Russia in any case. That is why Russian diplomacy working very strongly against the government of Serbia with the statements. That is why they are using different, different group for pressures. And now we are coming to the point where we have to test our national resilience, how we will be resilient to the Kremlin multidimensional activities, which I accept they will start during the February. In this moment, we are at the strong hybrid attack on the social networks and it is very hard uh, to defend it because they are playing with the emotions and using the using uh, different kinds of the disinformation in general terms what should we expect from the dynamics of the negotiations between serbia and kosovo in 2023 in this moment this french uh, german plan is not public document and we have the statement for the from the European uh, facilitator Miroslav Lajčak that the public versions are not even the same like the real document. He said that very clearly, but in the substance, uh, the message and the content is very clear. Uh, as far as I can observe, this document does not define anything new which is not existing already in the real life, which does not existing de facto in, in the Serbian and, and, and Kosovo relations. So the, this document is only uh, the strong binding uh, guarantee of the framework for the negotiations. And this is actually the answer from the international community on the crisis and, uh, and on dialogue obstruction. So they want to say like this, this is the rules how dialogue will be conducted. This is important points which must be obeyed and all the rest, what is not on the paper, you can negotiate, you can use the methods and techniques, whatever you like, strategies, but what is on the paper, with that, there is no negotiation, this is the baseline. If you agree the baseline, if you do not offend these baselines, you will have satisfaction with the, with the financial support, with investments, with uh, faster a track for the integrations or Euro-Atlantic integration uh, for Kosovo uh, free visa agreement and so on. In case do, that you do not accept this framework as the baseline for the negotiations, you will have consequences and we are uh, we are full of excuses and we will not tolerate anymore any kind of the improvisation on the baselines. What is the good thing? The good thing is actually that the West recognizing that uh, municipality with my, my majority 
is the is the first and most important start point that they said after this is finished then we're going on the franco german uh, model which means that actually this model is small diplomatic victory for serbia but most people in serbia does not does not understand the chance and the value and the opportunity which this document providing to serbia because 30 years we had the pros and conflict, 30 years we, we have open questions, and 30 years we do not have equal chances like our neighbors. What is behind the statement on possible resignation made by President Vucic? Actually, President Vucic has uh, a lot of hard decisions which he made in the last period, which is uh, not being always supported by the public opinion, but actually those uh, decisions made Serbia better. One is the reform of the retire uh, on, on the pension fund. Another thing is the reform you know, of, of the public administration. And Kosovo is the hardest issue because the vision of President Vucic is not only in collision with the public opinion, it is also in coalition uh, with the uh, Russian interest on the Balkans. So he has the whole Russian intelligence uh, against himself, uh, which uh, are actually uh, conducting covert uh, active measures in our society, in the one thing, on the other thing, the uh, nationalistic rhetoric, which is also very widely spread after the aggression on Ukraine, creating one very uh, hard environment for the national con concessions on the one hand. On the other hand, there uh, no no doubt that there will be a huge uh, social uh, dialogue which will be issued because the public, public opinion should accept it like the clear democratic uh, decision because in the uh, opposed case, uh, if it is not completely accepted uh, on the proper procedure, we will have a risk then in the certain period of time, somebody must come, come uh, with the re revision model and somebody can invoke revision process. So it is uh, really important that the whole the public dialogue are settled with, uh, within the framework of the transparency. In other case, it will be very hard to defend the, the, those decisions in the one moment. On the other hand, there is a school of, the, of opinion which said that decision must be made without any kind of the consultations because uh, leaders should make decisions. And then after four years on the election, they should ask people, are they decisions was good or, uh, was good or bad? This is second school of the opinion. And the third school of, of opinion thinks that the President Vucic negotiated some very good deals about foreign investments for, for Serbia and that in this moment he only needs to present it or to sell it on the best way to the Serbian public opinion. In any case, it will be a very hard process from the matter of a situation that we have 31 uh, members of the parliament which are very clearly pro-Russians and some people said that we for sure have 31 uh, Russian Federation agents in the uh, public uh, ne or in the National Assembly of Serbia. On the other hand, somebody, somebody will say that we have 31 opportunistic uh, people, which uh, knows that uh, uh, Russophilia is paying well in Serbia, so they are using those arguments. So we are in the one very huge national transition because those decisions are are hard, but their consequences will come up in the next uh, 50 years, 100 years, and who knows. So this is historic op opportunity for, for us to finally deblockade ourselves in a checkmate situation. Subscribe here to receive more videos from the New Geopolitics Research Network.